Hey guys, today we are playing Space Flight Simulator, and I've already uh, experimented with this, so let's click on my world, me, technology, and more, play, and I've already made some pretty cool stuff, but we're going to start new, uh, build new rocket. Now I figured out the basics of how you use this game, except for this, I didn't see that. Anyway, um, so basically literally what you do is build a spaceship. These are fuel tanks, this is obviously a rocket, and this is sort of like the place where a human would live or go to to stay and then this is a oops not that this is a parachute so this is just like a basic one I'll show you what I've came up with oh and you need heat shields to protect your stuff when you come back to earth so you can literally travel to different planets and everything it's super cool, filled with science, and it, yeah, it's pretty fun. But I'm not a big fan of the whole heat problem with heat shields. I'm not crazy about it, but it's still a, ro a really awesome game. Now we push launch. The rocket's too heavy to launch. I don't believe that. We'll see about that. Now, simply, we see our liquid fuel, which is how much our engine will run off of. We turn the engine on, then we put this all the way up, push this on, and get it working. So now, we can go anywhere we want. Even into space, which we once we get there. And it even shows the heat shield. System. It's really cool. Um, tap map again. And then we can go back and revert to build. Revert to build. And I've made my own spaceship. Would it's it's not really a spaceship because I don't really like going really high into the sky. And it just seems like I always seem to seem to run out of fuel before I can get to any planet, so I don't really do that as much. But we have the Flying Rocket 2.0, which is what I want to show you guys. It's really cool. So, and basically, these little things are like these giant rockets. Well, more of a smaller rocket that's less powerful. Um, but they run off of fuel wirelessly, which means I don't need to have it attached like this. I just need to have a fuel tank somewhere, which is really helpful, but they're really hard to pick up things. So eventually I came up with this design, making sure that nothing's too heavy and it can still go up. And it's really amazing how good this thing can maneuver. By the way, you always need this because without it, you don't have anything to control your ship. Okay, so we're gonna play with this. Move my face. <laughs> uh, launch. Now it says there's 
obviously it has no heat shield because we're not going to have to re-enter the space unless I really go that far, which I don't really like to. And my rocket is too heavy to launch is because the mass is basically the weight and the thrust is like how much thrust, like how powerful a rocket's going to push you off the earth. And these aren't technically rockets, they're usually used to land when you have a parachute and you're falling. They push you up a little to make sure you have a smooth lander landing. Um, so they don't really count as any thrust, but they can be used as thrust, it just doesn't count it. So we turn the RCSs on, and pretty cool, and it's pretty awesome how good this thing can maneuver. So I can go like this. Oops. It's pretty smooth landing though, surprisingly. And I can just... And you can move wherever you want. Turn. It's pretty cool. Until you run out of fuel, then there's the problem. But it was a pretty smooth landing. We did lose one thing. And then once you're out of fuel, you can actually use the rubber wheels. Turn both of those on. To move around and do whatever you want on Earth. Pretty cool. See, we're back on the spaceship platform. And there's a parachute too, if you ever go so high, like really high. You can use a parachute to land safely. There. Now, revert to build. I'm gonna clear. Now, I've been trying to work on this moving flying rocket, but it hasn't gone too well because the RCSs don't go to move a really high amount of weight, and this is a lot of weight to carry. 30.8T, and we only have about it can show us how much mass and how much thrust, 1.5t times 6, which shouldn't be a lot, about 9 I'm pretty sure. Um, so clearly we can't use these, so I think that's the, that's the one thing that we're not going to have. Bop, bop, bop. <laughs> okay, now... I want to put this back. Let's move these wheels. Ugh, they're so... They're not symmetrical. I don't like that. First, right? Anyway, it should be fine. Um, it might things... It might make things fall over, though. And we won't need this. Technically, we don't need this because... These little squares up here serve as parachutes, too. Uh, we don't need this many solar panels. Um, I think that's about it. Well, maybe we do want some of these. We want these so that we can land safely. And not, you know, like, explode. There we go. There we go. Launch. Launch anyway. Now. Now we can turn every single wheel on, which sort of is a chore. I wish they had, like, a little side menu that has all the buttons to turn on. Let's see. There we go. And then we can stop. And then we can, okay, so we can push these two little legs, and we actually get pushed up, which I really like, because we're a little safer, we're off the ground, and I just noticed this wheel isn't on, there we go, um, and we can turn our rockets on,
Okay, calm down. This is why they give us parachutes. Please, activate parachutes. RCS. RCS. Please. We're slowing down. We're slowing down. And I guess that's how to land your rocket without dying? Sort of? That wasn't supposed to happen. And I see why it happened. So let's revert to build. Revert to build. And I can easily fix this. I remember why I had the wheels over here now. Split between here. Sort of split between here. There. And we might need to remove that. And so what happens is all the heat from this... What is it called? I forget what it's called. Engine? Rocket? I'm gonna call it rocket. Anyway, this rocket gets way too hot. He ups this and completely broke it off. So. Um. Hmm. We need to go to structural. No, basic. Yeah. And then get a heat shell. Heat. Heat. Heat shield. Um. Let's see. Structural. Move everything down to. Down, down. Down like this. Snap this on. Snap this on. Snap this on. Snap this on. And then, simply to fix this, this is a really easy fix. We put this here. And if I can fit it, this here. There. Now we have two shields. They should last really long. And hopefully that means it doesn't destroy everything when the heat gets way too hot. So, let's see. Let's see. Rockets on. Speed it up. The heat shields are already breaking. Nope. 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 Turn off, I mean, turn on C, S. There we go. And then we'll land. Well, this wasn't planned. This really weird. It keeps breaking on the side. But either way, we do get there. And then we can go to exit. And that's all.